Welcome to the F word, food we're fighting for. Everything on tonight's menu is something you can quite easily do at home. And to prove it, I've got a bunch of amateur cooks cooking with me in the kitchen. Well, I don't know whether to laugh, cry, or fucking jump in the Thames, but what? this is a first. What if souffle is served with a fucking straw? Each week is a different brigade, and they better be bloody good because we've got 50 paying customers. If they don't like it, they don't pay. It's as simple as that. What do you want me to say? Well done for fucking the I don't want you to say. I want you to say something once, Mr. Ramsey, and then shut the fuck up. The F was here and the F was back. Catch my mother and I catch my dad. Let her love my mother and I love my dad. What happened that they never had? The F was here and the F was back. Catch my mother and I catch my dad. Let her love my mother and I love my dad. Hello, Jason. Nice Jason, to meet good to meet you. Damon, how are you doing? Hi. All right, thank you. Dean. And Dean, you? good to see you. Adrian. Adrian, hi. Fine, thank you. So you're all brothers? Yes. yes. Who's the oldest? Me, yeah. fortunately. Who's the best cook? Uh, uh, between these two. It's got to uh, be between these two. I'm having it. It's not, yeah. <laughs> not real. <laughs> OK, the restaurant's full tonight. Right. Yeah. Each and every customer coming in to eat our food is paying for dinner. That means we've got to get it fucking right. I'm not here to be your best mate. Right. So when the shit hits the fan, just listen to what I've got to say and let's get on with it. Yeah. We'll start arguing at 11 o'clock, not before it. Very good. Yeah? Yeah. So, let's go through the menu. So it's a summer vegetable soup. Yeah. With crayfish tails, finished with a touch of walnut pesto. Our main course is a sort of fricassee of rabbit, yeah. served with wild mushrooms, a little bit of um, white wine, finished with a really nice mustard cream sauce. Jason, what's the dessert? A rhubarb souffle, um, which is beautiful and nice, and it's going to be done with a white chocolate topping. Are we ready? Absolutely yes. ready. Yes. Yeah, let's go, guys. On order, four covers, table ten. Four summer soup, four rabbit fricassee, four rhubarb That's soup. That's mine, plates. yes, chef. Thank yes, you. Chef. On order, four covers, table two. Four summer soup, four rabbit fricassee, four rhubarb Lattons. souffle. Lattons. Yeah. What are you doing, Dean? Do a soup. Yeah, how many four? Two. Two? Yes. I didn't even call out a two. Well, David's going to do two. So? We're doing two each. Two each? Two each. Yes. Why? No, but Why not? Yeah, can I run the kitchen? Yeah, sure. And if you do as you're told, we'll get through this, you know? Right. Adrian. I'm waiting for you to give me instructions. Good man. My name's Jason. Cooking is a mad passion for me. I like the way food looks. I think the first thing about any meal is how it appeals to the eye. My name's Adrian. I'm confident and happy with how I cook. I've never had a complaint. I think they're frightened of complaining. My name is Dean. My favourite dish would be black pudding with a chicken fillet on the top with a, like a steak Diane sauce and it's lovely. I'm Damon. I enjoy good wine, good food. Proof of the pudding's there. Everything I cook, I eat. Everybody <sighs> thinks northern men can't cook. Yeah. But we can. And we don't wash pans. If he thinks he's shoving one of us in a corner, cleaning up, no mm -hmm. jobs. We're artists. Pressure is not an aspect. Rushing, flying, fire, Gordon fucking bowling and shouting. Not interested. Everything will blow out right. That's mm. it. We will definitely be the best brigade, bar none. The brigade have been shown how to make this summer soup, finished with walnut pesto, but to get things off to a good start, I'm going to go through it with them again one more time. Bacon in, yes? Onions. Just a small amount of seasoning. OK, and the carrots are sliced thinly, so they cook very, very quickly, OK? Turnips. Now, it's really important to start sweating these vegetables down like this to enhance the flavour. Potatoes, they're going to take a lot longer to cook than the beans, yeah? OK? Beans, leeks. Little cabbage. bit of cabbage. Yeah. Good. Last minute. Yeah. Crayfish tails. We've got four portions. Eight tails. Nice. Little bit of fresh mint. Yeah. Olive oil. And crayfish. I just like prawns. Do you know what I mean? So don't overcook them. Be very, very careful. They just stay nice and pink. Yes, sir. Happy? Yeah. Okay. Ladle. Let's go. Nice array of vegetables. And then get your tails in there. Beans, yeah. So the pesto in there is walnuts, pine nuts, parmesan, garlic, basil, yeah, and olive oil. That's it. Is that enough? That's nice. Just enough. A little teaspoon in the middle. Service, please. Yes, Let's yes. Let's go. Right, That's wipe down, please. Yep, yeah, wipe down. Uh, Dean. Yes, chef. You made a delicious soup, and yes, it looks fucking disgusting. Why you put so much in there? 
Huh? Portion's too much. Huh? Portion's too much, yeah. Yeah, no, but you've got to eat and sort of drink this soon, not have a fucking right, bath right. in it. Back in here, come on. Why has it gone all black, yours? It was that. Why is it all black, the, the stock? Do you burn the bottom of the pan? Because it looks like it's been burnt. Look at the colour of it, look. Yeah. It's dark, One yeah. goes out nice. Right. Yeah, yeah. One goes out shitty. Start again, let's go. Uh, guys, while we're doing this, yeah, the only thing to remember is that if this soup is not good enough, Dean, yes, the customers don't pay for it, it's as simple as that. Yes, chef. Yeah? Then you look stupid, OK? Yes, chef. That's a delicious. Yeah, really flavoursome, and there's just so many different things going on in the plate. Um, it's just perfect. I really enjoy it. Good balance as well. I thought it was great. I thought it was nice to have a clear soup for a starter, so you don't feel it's too heavy, and especially with it being a summer soup. It works really well because it's very light and very refreshing. Last table, yes? Yeah? Is that enough, Let's yeah? Go. Let's go. Go, please, yeah? Four on table four. Now we're going to find out who's paying for the soup. Yes. And who's not paying for the soup? OK, very good news tonight. It went very well. Go on. Uh, out of 50, only four people are not ready to pay. So 46 said they'd pay, and yeah. four people said they wouldn't pay? They wouldn't pay, yeah. Well, you know, that's not fucking perfect, but it's bloody good. You know that? Well. Considering. Yeah, for the main course, we've got to get 100%. Yeah. Yes? Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I'm looking for the best brigade. You're here to be part of that. Yes, and to prove to yourself, and to me, and to them as well, yes? Show me that you're sort of, you know, hey, hungry, keen, and fucking determined to shine as the best brigade in the F word. Yes, sir. Yes? Yes, yes, yes. yes. yes sir. Rather than being a bunch of grumpy old fucking overweight fat fuckers <laughs> from Bolton. <laughs> yeah? Fucking hell, fire. There you go, that's what you are now, is there, yeah? There you go, there you go. You've seen, you've seen fuck all so far, trust me. <laughs> Next on the menu, a foodie gob shite Janet Street Porter makes a new friend. I've got a very expensive yes. perfume on, oh, yes. but I'm hoping it's the right one. <laughs> Before our recipe challenge, me and Dermot O'Leary talk bollocks. Whose ghoulies are these? Oh, for fuck's sake. And the pressure's on for the brigade. Can we just raise the fucking game a little bit? Yes, um, yes, that yes. way, they're all going to pay for the main course. I'm not embarrassed, and nor are you when you fuck off back to Bolton. <laughs> Welcome back to the F Word. This series, I set myself the challenge of getting the whole nation cooking Sunday lunch. All you have to do is get off your mobile and get your ass in the kitchen. Sundays are just a nightmare. It gets to about five o'clock and songs of praise, I hate, absolutely hate songs of praise, um, comes on and I just think, that's it, the weekend's over, I've done nothing. And normally I reach for the, my phone and text you at least five of my friends and say, you know, what are you doing? You know, now being um, Juliet and one daughter, you know, we haven't got this Sunday lunch family thing. So what did you have for last Sunday lunch? What did you eat? Tuna sandwich. For Sunday lunch? For Sunday lunch. Juliet. From a teenager up to mid-twenties, yeah. I made dinner, uh -huh. proper dinner. Um, then I got married to Master Chef, who took over the kitchen for ten years really? and, and didn't let me in. Oh, really? Um, and then when we divorced, couldn't remember what to do. So I've got your husband, your ex-husband, to blame for this one, yeah? Well, I'm going to pickle these Absolutely. bollocks. Absolutely. <laughs> inside here. That's it, inside <laughs> your cupboard. <clears throat> What's he doing in there? Uh, what is he doing in there? Well, well, <laughs> it, was, it was saving me buying a takeaway. Jerk seasonings. Uh, we should put that one next to him. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that sits there nice and comfortably. I like the idea of your friends coming round. I like the idea of something that they can share, that can go in the middle of the table and they can all dive in. Yeah, that's perfect. Paella. In terms of, you know, using... But that involves rice. Rice and chicken. Yeah. What's wrong with rice? Well, it's cooking it. Can't you make disasters with uh, rice? Yeah, no, no, no. But, I mean, with the stock, water, in fact, and things like chorizo and saffron, it cooks itself. <laughs> 300 grams of squid and 300 grams of prawns, please. Thank you. What did you have for Sunday lunch last week? Uh, roast chicken, I think. How many was at the table Sunday lunch? About, what was it, about 10? There you go, see? Pyla, when was the last time you made one? Never. Okay, Cerezo. Yeah, just smell that. Mm. Nice. Spicy. And it actually flavours the rice as well at the same time. Good. 
get hold of the chilies. Why are you taking the seeds out? They don't um, the well, um, th they are really hot, and I want to use the sort of the whole chili rather than the seeds. Just slice it down like that. And the nice thing about sweating the chorizo down oh. with the onions. Oh, what was that? Chili. You see? That nice romantic moment when you're not crying over a phone bill, you're crying over a paella. <laughs> I'm using chicken, but you can also make this with fish or rabbit. Adding sherry gives it a deeper flavour. Once that's evaporated, what I want you to do is pour the rice in. And this is where you always get a little bit confused, isn't yes. it? Sprinkle the paella. Mix it all in. I want to get that rice nicely coloured. OK. There you go. So next I want you to do is to get the saffron. What does this do? The saffron gives it an amazing colour and gives it a really nice flavour as well. Uh-huh. And to finish off, prawns, squid and clams. So far, so good? So far, yeah? understood. Come on, you're doing good. Mm. A little bit peppery there at the back. <clears throat> the tomatoes will bring that down. And there we are, look, paella fit for a king. And then, my dear lady, we're ready to roll. <laughs> Ladies! <laughs> Can I just say, it's been a long time since I sat around a table like this. But ladies, yeah, I'm starting to feel slightly intimidated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ban texts in, OK? No more texts on a Sunday afternoon. Oh, yeah. No, 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 because no. you don't need to text each other. You're not going to be that frustrated because you're all going to be here. Yeah. Uh, what do you say? High yellow rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. No. It's like a risotto rice. Oh. However, if you can't find pile of rice, then choose the long grain. So, oh, dear, dear. <laughs> um, madam, you have to promise me something today, yeah? That. Name your price. Once a week, <laughs> yes, that you'll start cooking something from scratch. From scratch. Good girl. I'm yes. going to make a decision to go shopping with my list. Yep. And I'm going to motor around that supermarket, yep. avoiding all the pre packed, pre cooked, pre ready made distractions. And I'm definitely, definitely going to cook. Good. Right, uh, Damon. Chef. Show me one portion of pasta in your hand, please. Chef. Is that a fat bastard portion or is that a good portion? Look at the size it's of the fucking portion. thing. good portion. All I want to see you, big boy, eh, is sweat a little bit, that's all. I sweat like a pig, chef. Sweat like a pig. And fucking look like one. Right, let's go. Oh, fucking right, Jean-Baptiste. <laughs> well, I need a fucking reaction from it. <laughs> like having a fucking vegetarian in my fucking head. Now, now I can hear him in the background. Here we go, we're like off now. We're off, we're off. Fucking course on. Right, Here right. we go. Cheeky. Yeah, we'll have a nice big <laughs> fucking arm wrestle <laughs> after service. There you go. Yeah. Are you pissed off now? I'm fucking annoyed. Good. Now, <laughs> do some fucking work. <laughs> Time for the main course. A gorgeous rabbit fricassee with fresh tagliatelle. <laughs> rabbit is a gamey chicken flavour. Absolutely delicious. Butcher. I'm going to take out the liver. And that's a bit of a chef's treat there. And then underneath the liver, beautiful rabbit kidneys. Remove legs, poach. Bring it up to the ball and just leave them to poach for about 45 minutes. Remove loin. Set aside. Sauce. Hot pan, olive oil, shallots, bacon. Nice big thick chunks. Mushrooms, thyme. Rabbit is a very mild, delicate flavour, so we have to think in terms of mild, delicate herbs. Deglaze the pan with white wine. Reduce. Stock in. Reduce. Cream. And we're now starting to form this really nice cafe latte colour. This is the secret agent, a pomery grain mustard. Parsley. Just chop through it once. In. Set aside. Fry rabbit loin. Take the legs out from the stock. Add poached legs. Now, look. Wow. The smell is amazing. Tagliatelle. What I'm trying to do is combine the earthiness of the fricassee to the sort of classy, rich pasta. On. Non-stick pan. This liver is absolutely delicious. In to the pan. Liver. Kidney. Season. That is fit for a king. Rabbit fricassee with tagliatelle, done.
Yeah, yeah, you can keep the pan on the stove, otherwise you're going to start boiling it. Let's go. A little bit of salt in there. Really Lardons, nice shallots, yeah. mushrooms, yes? Let's yes, go. chef. Now, if you work nice and tidy, yeah, you produce something nice and tidy. If you work in a mess, you produce a mess, that's all. A tidy mind, chef. Yeah, good man, tidy mind. Come on, Agent. They look burnt in there, Agent, no? Have you burned the fucking onions? No. It's a fucking yeah. cream sauce yeah. and they're burnt, yeah? OK? Yes, yeah. Uh, start again. Yes, chef. Yeah. Excuse now, me. I'd rather stop now yes, chef. at the beginning you do that for than me, you yeah? come to me in the hot plate with fucking burnt bits of shit in there. Hey. Adrian. Yes, chef. It's the same mistake you made with the starters. You've got to learn from it, yes? I'm not disputing it, chef. Sorry, chef. Let's see a good man. Let's go. Fuck the sorry. Let's move your ass. Very good, chef. Damon, how long for you? Four minutes, chef. Thank you. Come on, Adrian. Yeah. We're lagging behind now. Let's go. Yeah. yeah, pan nice and hot. Not too much of each. That's let's it. Go. That's it. Good let's man. go, let's go. Jason, keep an eye on him, please, yes? Will do, chef. Keep the plates nice and tidy. Let's go. Come on, guys. Service, please. Huh? Yeah, yeah, two off, seconds, please. Right, Adrian, come on. Not enough on there, Chef. You're looking a little bit lost. Come here. Come here with that pasta. Let's go. Yeah. Just... Mm. Come on. Second lot I've done. Yeah. Hey. Is come that on. what we've Yeah, it's like fucking piss. Come on, big boy, start again. All right, Chef, yeah. Come on, don't throw your hands there. Where's your rabbit fricassee? Where's your casserole? There, Chef. OK, good, that's ready then. Come on, get the pasta back in, Adrian. Keep smiling, team. Come on. Where's your liver, Be big boy? Chef. Take them out of the pan then, get them on the tray. Let's go. Move over, Chef, here. Yeah, I'll be two seconds. OK, Adrian, come here, two seconds. Dino. Yes, Chef. Damon, come here. Chef. That was one table each. Yeah, OK. And that's the fastest I've seen you move, which is great. But if things go wrong, don't worry about it. Just rectify it. Because what I was really concerned about is the rabbit overcooking while we're arguing about the pasta. That's all. Nice, yeah? Yes, Chef. And the no, pasta takes one minute to do again, and the rabbit takes fucking eight minutes to do again. Yeah? Yes, Chef. Clear down, and one more table each again, yes? Maybe Let's go. Chef. Right, what's the matter? Yeah, the, the, the liver is not cooking enough. It's too, too, too bloody. Oh, come on, look. I mean, fucking hell. What is... Yeah. Liver served pink. Look, no, 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 I mean... Look. Sorry. It's pink. It's pink. Yeah, but I can't eat your rabbit. Yeah, but so you move it to the side and you eat your rabbit. Do you know what I mean? I mean, that's pink. Yeah, you're French, aren't you? You know what fucking pink is, don't you? Sorry, but the liver's pink and we're going to serve it pink. The boys are cooking at the last minute. Clean down, please, Jason. That yes, means chef. hot plate as well, yes? Yes, chef. Out of that palaver, we've served eight tables. Yes, that's basically two tables each. Can we just raise the fucking game a little bit yes, and make sure these last five tables, yes, is immaculate, please? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. That way, they're all going to pay for the main course. I'm not embarrassed, and nor are you when you fuck off back to Bolton. Right, chef. Let's go. <laughs> Let me just nip in there, all between you and bend down. I'm so sorry, your liver was slightly pink. Yeah, not used to it. Really, it's scary in the sense that pink is quite tasty, no? He sent it back, didn't he? He didn't like pink liver? No? There's me thinking I've given you a nice treat tonight and you've turned your nose up with it. Are you chewing gum? You are. Toffee. And you're sending a fucking pink liver back. <laughs> you're a fucking insult. Hi, guys. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? Yeah, I'm not Be well. Yeah, yeah, it's tiring all this cooking last Yeah, no, it? nightmare, nightmare. I, I was blown away with the main course though. The rabbit? Yeah. How many times do you cook a week at home? It's, it's tricky at the moment, because of Big Brother. But, yes. Um, if I'm at home, I'd probably normally three to four, uh -huh. and, I'll, and then I'll probably eat out a couple of nights a week. Yeah, there's much more to you than just Big Brother, because you're a patron of a, a, an amazing charity. Yeah, a patron of Everyman, which is... Everyman, which is the... Mount, just... Yeah, Mount Testicular and, and Prostate Awareness Cancer Charity. Uh -huh. Just wrote to me and said, look, you're a young guy, um, you're, you, you're essentially in our demographic. How long ago was this? This was about two, three years ago. And then I've been patron ever since. But you never feel they... embarrassed to, to, to fill our bollocks. Will you well, do me a favour? I can do, do that check. for you, but I... <laughs> well, look, no-one's going to see you. I've got my apron there. <laughs> they, they appear to be fine. That was my cock. <laughs> <laughs> OK. Well, that, that appears to be fine as well. <laughs> now, listen, um, clearly an expert on what they feel like. I want to find out if you have an, an educated palate and what they taste like. Yes? Jean-Baptiste? Surprise, yes. Oh, no, 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 no,
Yeah, not. You of all people shouldn't be squeamish about testicles. You're the patron of the charity, for fuck's sake. So, whose goodies are these? Don't look squeamish, come on, don't look. Don't we're look about, squeamish. We're, we're on the marathon. Have these been cooked? Of course, they've, they've been blanched and fried. Finished with a little bit of salt, pepper, and a little bit of fresh lemon juice. Okay, yeah. cool. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can you guess <laughs> what animal that is? <laughs> Whose goolies are these? That's a bull. A bull? <laughs> <laughs> you got it right. It's a cow's bollock. You know, yeah, I don't mind. Hey, well done. The taste isn't too bad. It's but spongy. It's, just, it's, yeah, mm. it's the texture that kills Now, it. my worry is how the fuck did you know what that tasted of? <laughs> 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 now, it was all going for. This one is... John Baptiste, what is that? <laughs> not, not that the be... vein, the vein, the vein, the vein. Right. Fuck okay, it, you're not going to forget this day in a hurry. Here we go, Look, a little bit. That bollock, whose is it? What is that one? Is that, is that like a um, venison? Mm -hmm. That's a lamb. A lamb's bollocks. They're enormous! I know, and they're huge. Look at the blue veins. Right, last one, OK? I promise you now. Oh. Right, John Baptiste. Now, <laughs> now, who's, now, who's nuts are these? I like knowing the taste, right? Um, well, he's got ginger hair. Who's Evans? So, no, close. Close. Try it. There's one each. <laughs> That's anti World Thompson's bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> no, they were rabbit bollocks. Yeah, oh. they're nice. Mm, they're very nice. You have a, a, an expert palate in fucking balls, you know. <laughs> well done. And congratulations to every man. Um, don't get nervous for the challenge. I'll see you in the kitchen, yes? OK. Thank you. I'd never um, had rabbit before, um, and I was saying I, I think I'm actually spoiled for rabbit now. Um, if I ever order it again, this is the benchmark. Um, I thought it was fantastic. It was just overpowered by the whole grain... It might as well have been whole grain mustard with a bit of rabbit and a bit of tagliatelle, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, it's very good. The, um, the rabbit has got a very distinct flavour, so um, you don't really need anything really heavy to go with it, and so like, a creamy sauce uh, with it just sort of complements it quite nicely. OK, uh, Jean-Baptiste. Uh, we're having 13 people who are not paying for the main course. 13 people? Yeah. Why so many? The main reason is the, the sauce, the mustard, was overpowering, and some people they don't, they just didn't like the kidneys. Well, they could have chewed the kidney off. They could have chewed the kidney off. fucking rest. Yeah, but that's one of the reasons they are not paying. Everything you sent, yeah, you I tasted it before you sent it. Everything, yes? yes. Everything. Everything. Yeah? And, and let me just say something. The mustard enhances the flavour of the fucking rabbit. We know damn well that dish worked perfectly well because it's just exquisite. We've got an extra treat with the fucking offals and the kidney, Absolutely. and they still complain, so I'm not fucking interested. Right. The only chance now we've got of making them happy right now is making them fucking, you know, over the moon with this fucking rhubarb and ginger souffle. Yes? Yes, chef. Next on the menu, Dermot O'Leary gets a little help from his mum in the recipe challenge. I'm freaking out a little bit. <laughs> Looks a bit insipid. How does it taste? It tastes rubbish. Janet Street Porter gets her hands on a new low-fat superfood. <laughs> I've got it on my fingers! <laughs> and the pigs in my back garden have driven me to drink. No more after this one, I'm going to be this one. I'm Just working fun. tonight. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, time to see if Big Brother's little brother has any bollocks. <laughs> My ass. Let's go. Right, what are you doing? I'm doing Irish stew yes. with beef, but... Um, but a traditional Irish stew is made with lamb. I know, Dermot. I know it is. Um, but I think, to be honest with you, there's two things. I think that... Um, You're an Essex boy? To start with. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, and secondly, my mother prefers the taste of beef to lamb, so... That means you're going to blame her if you lose now. That's so unfair. You can't do that to your mum. And, uh, I don't know, I think, I think beef tastes in lamb. I like, um, uh -huh. I like lamb and I, yeah. I, I, like, I like roast lamb, but in a stew, I, I don't know why. I always just think that... Yeah. But isn't that more... just because you're an Essex boy, you don't know anything about food? Well, I, I, Jamie Oliver's an Essex boy. Who? Jamie Oliver's an Essex Who? boy. <laughs> OK, I'll just carry on with that. <laughs> Must be a nightmare now that Russell Brand's stolen a bit of your credibility in terms of <laughs> the sexiest man on Channel 4. Well, I think Russell's more sexy than I am. Are you a little bit jealous of him? Yeah, probably a little bit. My only issue with Russell, and I love him to pieces, yeah. but my only issue with Russell is that um, Russell used to be addicted to drugs. Yes, he's and made that quite Russell's clear. great biggest get-out clause on God's earth is that he used to be addicted to drugs. Ergo, he has an addictive personality. Ergo, he can now be addicted to sex. Yeah. And, that, and, and, and that kind of 
negates all the, all the behaviour that he, you know, so he can sleep with who he likes because of the, the sex. And, yeah. um, and you yeah. know, I'm not slanging the guy off, that's what he says. Yeah. And I just sort of want to stick my hand up and go, can I be addicted to sex, please? <laughs> Fucking tough addiction to keep up, no? My I, God. I think I'm weird, but I think I am. I'm just addicted to sex with one person. So, Derma's making an Irish stew. Um, I'm doing one using a neck of lamb, which is a very sort of cheap cut. But the nice thing about this cut is surrounded by fat, because an Irish stew basically cooks about 90 minutes. So, as it cooks, it gets more and more tender, and you don't use an expensive cut. So, first of all, I'm going to brown off the meat in a pan, salt, pepper. I'm not using flour because I don't want to get it too thick. An ice stew is nice and sort of almost like runny. It's like lamb cooked in a stock. Nicely seasoned. And then, more importantly, into a hot pan just to colour it. Bloody now, hell. what are you doing there? You're frying the beef off? Yeah, is that all right? Yeah, no, no, I'm just fascinated with what you're I, doing. Look, don't... Oh, I hate... Fascinated is not good. No, no, I'm just intrigued. And you've wrapped it even in, worse than not. You've wrapped it in flour. Yeah, I just... Well, OK, here's the thing. Yes. You would do this. You're sort of, I know you don't, you're not doing it intentionally, but you're intimidating me. No, come on! I did stick a bit of flour in there, which now, you know, Einstein over there says I shouldn't have done, which is just terrific. But what should happen is in about 15, 20 minutes or so, as you can see already, all that fat's starting to come to the top, which my mum calls scum. I'm just going to skim that off. Right, now, when you tasted that, what's going on in there? It tastes like shit. I'm oh, really... no, don't. Yeah, I'm freaking out a little bit. I'm going to put some more stock in. Really? Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Listen, this is your recipe. I know, but... You know that. Hello. Hi, yeah. Uh... Hello. How's it going? All right, how are you guys? I'm freaking out a little bit. Yeah. Looks a bit insipid, and I use proper stock rather than, um, rather than um, a stock cube, so it looks kind of anemic in colour. Yeah. Well, have you got one? Have we got what? Stock cube. Yeah, but I've put some. I've really put some stock in, but, how... but like, but like proper beef stock. Should yeah. I put, 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 should I put some stock cubes in? Yeah. How does it taste? Huh? How does it taste? It tastes rubbish. Put in a stock cube. Leave it for a little while. Yeah. About ten minutes. And then come back to it. Then get the taste. Yeah. And if there isn't enough taste, you can put another one in. All right. Rather than put too many in at the one time. Is that your mum? Yeah. Can... Maria, how are you? <laughs> Are you well, my darling? I'm very well, thank you. And how Good. are you? Yeah, very well indeed, thank you. I'm just so sorry. Um, we got off to a really good start, but it's gone a grey colour. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it's got lots of scumming coming out the top, which doesn't look good, and he's getting very stressed out. I don't want him to get stressed out. No, no, so, tell him not to get stressed um, out. We'll put a little bit more... What about some red wine in there or something, no? Red wine would be lovely. It's not traditional Irish stew, but does that matter? No, no, it's definitely not traditional Irish stew. No. OK, I'll pass you back. OK, darling? <laughs> Bye. Mum's back. Yeah, thanks. Was that Gordon Ramsay? Huh? Was that Gordon Ramsay? Yeah, that was Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> <laughs> I was 100% sure. <laughs> thanks, Mum. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. <laughs> Time flowers in. And then whilst it's cooking, just to give it a little bit of lightness, I'm going to grate a really nice, fresh, zesty lemon into it. And what that does, it just gives a touch of acidity to the stew and lightens up the flavour. Right, both the stews are now going to simmer for an hour, and then Dermot's going to lose. Poor mum. <laughs> In a few weeks' time, I'll be cooking roast pork in the restaurant. I've started preparing the ingredients already. Every day I've fed the pigs five kilograms of nutritious wheat pellets and a few bits of fruit and veg. But now I've discovered a Japanese delicacy called karabuta, which is the pork of a Berkshire pig that's been treated to a regular supplement of beer. And it sounds like a great idea to me. Come on. What I'm hoping is going to happen is the actual beer, the barley, the malt, will enhance the flavour of the pig. It's hard work drawing pigs. Um, While the kids play indoors, oh, I've invited Hugh Foley Whittings all over to get his expert opinion on weaning one of the pigs on booze. Um, for me, the most important thing is the flavour, isn't it, at the end of it? I mean, I... For sure. Everything that, that... the little extras, the cabbages, the carrots, the apples, not only is that going to keep them very healthy and, and they're going to enjoy that extra yeah. bonus, it's definitely going to improve the yeah. flavour of the meat, for yeah. sure. I'm going to do something quite different. <clears throat> I'm thinking about weaning one of them on, like, a beer. On beer? On beer. Now, I, I've never done it, but I have heard about it. Yeah, and start it, you know, Are you going to do gradually. both of them? Uh, no, I'm just going to do one as an experiment to see if, hopefully... OK. 
you will be able to tell the difference down the line. Oh, Christ. You know, in terms of, I mean, I'm fascinated by You're it. You're going to do a taste test? A taste test. OK, and see if we can spot the beery pig. Spot the beery pig. OK. On? Good luck. Go for it. Let's yeah. do it. Let's do it. Good deal. Before I make any changes to the pig's diet, Hugh's advised me to check with the vet. <laughs> well, he's on, please, yes? Yay! Let's go. <laughs> oh, dear. Eight um, legs on a pig. One. Two, three, four, five. Oh, they don't look like pigs at all. Right, let's Daddy, go see them. Come on. The best. Come on, then, mate. Oh, Are you watching me? She has extraordinarily well, and you? Yeah, very well, Excellent. Thank you. Good to Excellent. see you. Excellent. What do you think? I think it's pig heaven. I think I think if I was a pig, this is exactly where I'd like to live. Yeah. So what I'm uh, trying to do is make sure these pigs get the most amazing feed, and. At the end of the day, for me, from a chef's point of view, they, they, taste, just, good. they taste delicious. They are going to taste good. So you, you agree with me feeding one uh, Absolutely. with beer? Absolutely. In the sort of quantities that we're talking about, uh, about 200 mils of beer three times a week, I think that's not going to cause any problems, and it might, uh, it might improve their well-being. Uh, right. With a vet seal of approval, I'm off to meet two beer connoisseurs in Clapham to choose a delicious, natural, additive-free tipple for my girls. Here they have hundreds of imported ales. Good to see you, Gordon. Nice to meet you, Alex. Alex, pleased to meet you. So I'm, um, I'm looking after um, and rearing in my back garden two Berkshire pigs. Well, I'd love beer. If I can feed them mm -hmm. between now and the end of the summer Kind of self-marinating. Well, yeah, just think of the belly of pork. <laughs> you know, just buy beer. That's it. So, um, yeah. huh? That's very... The most popular um, yeah. beer, which one would it be? This is one of our most popular. Yeah, cool, fucking hell. It's like liquid nitrogen there. Cool. And this one's called banana tana. My wife's called tana. Yeah. Got to look at some of these. So we've got creek, which is cherry. Yeah, that's nice. What, did you have any of favourite flute? Fruit? Got I do, fruit. actually. A flute? Fruit. <laughs> oh, God, that's strong. That's lovely, though. But it tastes of true fruit. We have raspberry ones. Yeah. They're very popular. No more after this one. I'm going to be pissed as far. I'm working tonight. Yeah. Christ. Jeez. God, I have to say, out of the, the array here, um, my favourite has to be the cherry. Yeah? The cherry beer. It's lovely. Not too sweet, which is nice. But just the aroma is interesting. Happy pigs. Good luck. Good luck. Some more, <laughs> yes. I hope they like it. Cool, fucking hell. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Hello, girls. Hey. Hey. Which one are you going to give it to? Um, the fat one. This one here. Come here. Come here. Hey. Come here. It just bit me. <laughs> hey, hey, you, you little fuck! It just bit my arm. No. You really got the knack of this, haven't you? Look. Is she gonna wobble? So she's pulling me down the garden. Some more. Come on. Hey, come on. <laughs> Not for you. How much did you drink? There you go. <laughs> I think I've got an alcoholic pig on my hands here. Look, she'll be flaked out in a minute. You know that. Who suggested this? I'm trying to improve the flavour. Who suggested it? Hugh. Right, the payback time, yes? Yes. Yep. 13 yep. are refusing to pay for the main course. Four are still refusing to pay for the starter. See if we can get 50 customers happy to pay for the souffle. Yes? yes. Right, rhubarb and ginger souffle. Yeah? Get it right, it works to perfection. Yeah, it works softly, you've got a fucking disaster on your hands. OK, simple. <clears throat> Basically, Pastry cream is like a, a thick custard. Yeah. That's the base. Okay. If we haven't got a proper base in the souffle, it doesn't give any momentum. Okay. Right. And inside the pastry cream is eggs, sugar, cream, milk. That's it. Mm -hmm. And a touch of corn flour to thicken it. This base is always the same in every souffle. First thing you do, get your whisk and whisk in your pastry cream with your rhubarb. Okay. Okay. Look. Then beat your egg whites. Now they're getting really nice and fluffy. I'm going to sprinkle one layer of sugar in there very slowly. Vigorously beat two thirds of your egg whites into the pastry cream and rhubarb puree. Yeah. And everyone thinks that you've got to be really delicate with a souffle. But if you are really delicate with a souffle, what comes out is just a lumpy mess of egg white. No lumps yeah. anywhere. Nice and smooth. Yeah. The rest of the mix, this is where we fold it in now. OK, but we don't beat it in, we just sort of fold and turn. And obviously, crucial, the moulds have got to be buttered properly. And when you bang down, it all evens down the bottom of the mould, so there's no unevenness. If we didn't do that, and it sits uneven, the souffle just explode out. OK, fill up the mould now, take your palette knife, and look, off in one. Over there like that, yeah, off. And just to get a little lip on there, look, get your thumb, 
and roll it down the side, and that puts a little bit of a lip on your souffle. It's really important for you to get this one, you know that, because so far throughout the night, every first fucking dish you've made of every course, you've fucked up. I want you to get this one right, yeah? Yeah. Uh, guys. Yes, chef. Souffle means puffed up, yes? Yes, chef. Not <laughs> Fulton's cow pat. Bear that in mind. I want to see stunning souffles, Adrian. Yes, chef. Let's go, guys, yes? Come on, guys, any in yet? Come on. It's official. Janet Street Porter, the F-word's culinary cruise missile, has definitely got the hump. I've come to Germany. I'm in about an hour's drive outside Stuttgart in very pretty countryside, um, and I'm en route to a camel farm. The last time I had anything to do with camels was in front of probably 8 million television viewers on I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Samson, Samson. Samson. No, 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 no. Push. No, I don't Samson, remember, Janet. Samson. And they tried to bite me, um, and they wouldn't do what I said. That was the most bloody annoying thing. Oh, my word! Camels! United Nations scientists are raving about a new superfood. Surreal. Camel's milk. Hello. 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 Hi. I'd like to ask him why on earth he's opened a camel farm in Germany. Yeah, he told me that several years ago he went to a journey and then he fell in love with this camel. You fell in love with camels? Yes. Ah, yes. The milk, camel milk, in camel milk's milk. very good. It's got lots of vitamins and it's got lots of minerals. What scientists are now realising is that camel's milk is extremely rich in calcium, iron and vitamin C. Camel's milk has far lower levels of fat than cow's milk, which is bloody great news if, like me, you're watching your weight. If you want to milk them, then you have they have to get your smell. I've got a very expensive yeah. perfume on, yes. but I'm hoping it's the right <laughs> one. <laughs> what? what? The common, yes. the common, yeah. No. Smile for this it baby. It seems a bit kinky. What do I do, yeah, just yeah, pull? Yeah, so yeah, well, I don't want to hurt her. Yeah, do oh, yeah. Bisschen mehr. She doesn't want to do it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it on my feet. <laughs> <laughs> Smells like normal milk. Yeah. Just tastes like milk? Yeah. Good. <laughs> yeah, good, Chalet. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> tastes fine. Now, if the United Nations gets its way, we'll all be putting the stuff on our cornflakes in a few years' time. One problem, though, it's currently illegal to commercially import camel milk into the UK. Right, the success of camel's milk as a new superfood depends on two things. First of all, the regulations have got to be changed so the stuff can actually be imported. And secondly, people have actually got to like the taste of it. <laughs> it seems to be sweeter and creamier than, than full fat milk to me. It tastes more like those milk bottle sweets. It tastes like a milk bottle sweet. <laughs> I don't think you've got a future career as a wine taster. <laughs> <laughs> you got to earn. How are you, Donnie? Fine. Did you see my camel milk film? Amazing. In Germany, of all places. I know. I had to huh? go to Germany and like camels. Yeah. And what was it like actually trying to milk them? Because it oh, looked... it's gross. Serious. It's gross. Yeah. Not as gross as you drinking out of that bucket. Was it warm when you sort of? Yeah. Mixed? It yeah. was fine. Oof. It's a bit of a strange aftertaste, there. You know that. It's Have another bit... one just to double check. Yeah. Ooh. It's creamy. Huh? I thought it was fine. Mm. But it's got all these healthy properties. Really? What's the secret behind sort of milking a camel? I Two don't... hands or one hand? Well, it's kind of one hand, but a little like twisting it. <laughs> Next on the menu, have Dermot O'Leary got the luck of the Irish? They like both of them first. Oh, get but out. This is good. Yeah. However, yes. there is one winner. One clear winner. And it's not just the souffles that are exploding. Just tell me once you're not yeah. happy and then do, leave me alone. Do me a favour. Get out.
Right, welcome back. Uh, judgment time for the little leprechaun. <laughs> Nervous? Yeah, I am, actually. Vegetables, carrots. Ooh. That's lovely, it's just not OSG. That's a curry. <laughs> Do you want to tend to burp? Oh, fuck off, will you? Bring your girl. Take someone in the other. Hello. Hello. Hi. 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 Very good. The meat's very soft. Quite tender, actually. Lots of mm. flavour in there. I like the mint, actually. The sauce is a bit runny for stew, but it's it's nice and simple and clean. It's not too fussy. This one looks, mm. totally that looks slightly richer, doesn't it? it does, yeah. In colour. Yeah, that's really that's... fruity. No. Oh. oh my god. It okay. tastes quite tomatoey. It's delicious. But, but it's a little bit too rich. It doesn't evoke any feelings of island. <laughs> no, <laughs> that is so true. No. No, no, but I mean, you... I'm happy with the dish, that's the most important thing. Right, stand up nice and straight. Sorry. Yeah, before he delivers the bad news. They like both of them first. Oh, get but out. This is good. However, yes. there is one winner. One clear winner. One clear, clear there, winner. Yeah, there was an okay. up or down, it's one yeah. clear winner. Go. Bravo. Oh, get no. out. No, shut up. Oh, You're joking, no, shut up. Yes. Oh, oh, it's it's off, will you? <laughs> what do they say? They said um, yours is a bit they, too much. No, like they, they find the other one very authentic, very Harish. Authentic? You yeah. had beef in it, for God's sake. You yeah. When's yeah. lemon ever been in Ireland? It just lifted it up a little bit. <laughs> you fondled my cock, now you beat me in a fucking <laughs> challenge. <laughs> will you do me a favour? Yeah. Fuck off out of my kitchen, yes? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> right, guys, the first souffle should be in by now. Damon, yes, sure. are those moulds spotless? <laughs> I can see shit and gunk and egg white all over them. And it'd be a shame to make a perfect souffle, then spoil it with a filthy, dirty mould. Adrian, Adrian, have you put the puree at the bottom? Just realised, Chef. Oh, come on, big boy. I just said to you earlier how important it was for you not to fuck this first table up. Come on. Are there? Yeah, just feel it. Look, on the side, look. Sounds like you've got too much egg in there. Right. Yeah, and not enough pastry cream, yeah? What's the upshot, do you think? Yeah, the upshot is the bin. And don't slam the fucking thing. You'll knock the air out of the souffle. Come on. <laughs> fucking hell, guys. Um, obviously, fucking Bolton's not famous for souffles. No, no, no. <laughs> this is a first for me. Hey, I don't know I'm fucking laughing. I don't know whether to laugh, cry, or fucking jump in the Thames, but what? this is a first. What if souffle is served with a fucking straw. They're exploding now. Look at those moulds. Are they all right? Oh, come oh, on. Oh, the mould side. Come on. Look oh, at the mould. Guys, gentlemen, yeah? Yes, chef. It's an hour ago since yep. that first ticket came in. Dean. Yes, chef. Dean, it's taken us an hour to get this out. Yes, chef. So basically, hello, guys, yes. just step up a gear and yes, sort of move our ass a little bit, yeah? Yes, yes chef. Yeah? We've been waiting probably about 90 minutes for our souffle, and I think we were working out between us, it must take about 25 minutes to make a souffle individually, so it'd have been quicker for us to make it ourselves. Gentlemen, yes, there's customers out there now on the verge of leaving because they're waiting too long for their fucking dessert. All yes, I want yes. is 50 customers served with 50 souffles and 50 fucking bills paid. You've got to help me, guys, yeah? Yes, yes. Guys, you can at least yes. put them on the tray for me or do something on the plate, yes? Right, uh, I'm going to ask you an honest question now, yeah? Look at those moulds and tell me you're happy for that. I'm not happy. You... No, nor am I. Do you want me to check them back and do them again? I'm asking you, are you happy with them? No, I'm not happy with them. Would you pay for them? No. Nor would fucking I. Well, the five people who are getting them, I'll pay the fucking bill. All right. <laughs> Adrian. Yes, sir. If you thought you were coming in this restaurant to run it with your standards, you needn't even bother coming. I'm running it with my standards, because whether you like it or not, it's my reputation on the line. Yes, End chef. of fucking story. Yes, chef. Thank you, chef. You finish them off, you fucking speaking to me like OK, huh? you'll finish them off and speak like so you're going home. What do you want me to say? Well done for fucking the I mold. don't want you to say, I want you to say something once, Mr Ramsey, and then shut the fuck up. Oh, what do you mean, shut the... Just tell me once you're not <laughs> happy and then do, leave me alone. Do me a favour, get out and cool down, take some fucking fresh air and have a big think. Thank you. Get the plates, please. I'll dust them. You put them on the plates. Thank you, chef. Thank you. Could he deliver fucking ten beds out of my van to satisfaction for customers spending £10,000 without damaging a piece of wallpaper? I fucking doubt it. How long are you there, please, Damon? Five years, chef. Thank you. Where is he? Right. Come on. Got it. Yeah. Sorry. It's really important for me, yeah, to get you back in there and finish it. And the reason why I push you so hard is because I want the best. 
Right. Yeah? And take me out of the equation. I don't give a fuck if you hate my gut. I don't know. It's, it's the customers. You've got every right to be upset because they're a pile of shit. It's really important for me, for you to get right. back in the kitchen and do the last two tables on your own. Your no, brother's... no, I'm not up to it. No, I'm not up to you it. No. no. Let's do it together then. Go on then. Let's do it. Yes? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Let's go. Mm -hmm. That's it, beat the shit out of it. Good. Harder. Good. Yeah? Pretend that's my head in there, okay? Let's get more egg white, please. There you go. It's amazing how you're fucking sped up now. Fucking hell. Thank fuck we're ending on a high. Good. Up we go. Service, please. Look at that. Beautiful. Go. Huh? That's the best one of the night, yes? Fucking hell. Well, I'm not going to fucking Bolton for a holiday, that's for sure. We've waited over an hour and a half for the dessert, and um, it, it was a bit of a disappointment, really. Love souffles. Not sure about this. Not sure how many people would pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, two seconds, please. How have the souffles gone down? Not very well. We're having 39 people who are not happy to pay for the desserts out of 50. 39 out yeah. of 50. Yeah. So only 11 customers would pay for the souffle. Yeah. Main reason is waiting time and um, bad consistency. So that's four that didn't want to pay for the soup, 13 that didn't want to pay for the main, and 39 that didn't want to pay for the souffle. So just 94 were paid for out of 150. That's over a third, guys. Yeah? Yeah. That's not fucking good, is it? No. No. More importantly, yeah, whatever we went through, the tempestuous fucking service that we went through, yeah. no one fucking gave up. And I'm glad you came back. Thank you. I, 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 for me, and I I'm glad apologize. you came Again. back. You may have been slightly shy, but you're not fucking quitters. If you invited me back next week to do yes. it again, I really would, sincerely. And if you were back in my kitchen, fuck me, will I be down the gym a week before? <laughs> <laughs> On next week's show, I travel to France to try and get a Brit to cook a proper Sunday lunch. It's a shrine to England, isn't it? But, I mean, this so... place is festered with baked beans. Yeah. I'm cooking a fantastic chicken dish, bacon-wrapped chicken legs stuffed with pork and pistachio. And my kitchen brigade are four doctors from accident and emergency. What's the worst ever sexual accident you've had in the middle of the night? <laughs>